The planetarium was built in my backyard over a period of 10 years. So I've had some people call it the sanitarium because they thought I was crazy. My name is Frank Kovac. I work part-time this time of year when my business is slower, cleaning and painting for people. But I've always been good at thinking about projects, fixing things. This uh, homemade doghouse uh, I decided to make for my dog, Sweetheart. Got a heater here. He's got water that never freezes. He can go in and out anytime he wants. This is his backyard. And he likes to play. Come on. <laughs> uh, my dad had a telescope when I was about 13. He showed me the moon and I couldn't believe what I saw was so intrigued about the universe. When I was 16, I built my own telescope. It's made out of plywood for the support base and a form tube that you use to make concrete with. It's powerful enough to show the gap in the rings of the planet Saturn, the moons of Jupiter. But the coolest thing I ever made is my homemade planetarium. My main source of income before was a local paper mill. I was thinking of maybe becoming a planetarium director, but I, I am very weak at math, and you need a lot of math and science in order to get that degree. So I decided to go a different route, which was to build my own planetarium. The planetarium itself was built on site in my backyard. It weighs about 4,000 pounds. So I had the foundation actually built around it. It came to be about $180,000 over almost a period of 10 years. So I've had some people call it the sanitarium because they thought I was crazy, but I never quit. The globe is mostly sheets of plywood, some panel board. The motor drive is a half horsepower gear motor. The globe itself is mechanically operated. It actually revolves around the audience, and it's one of two others in the world, and it's the largest. I was able to plot each star with glow-in-the-dark paint. I painted all 5,000 stars by hand with a tiny paintbrush, one dot at a time, which took about five months if you average eight hours a day. It was real painstaking on my neck, my back, spent many hours up on a ladder, and I would even actually go outside on a clear night to compare how mine looked in here, and if I wasn't happy with it, I would get out the paint and put more paint on a certain star. The planetarium is big enough to seat up to 25 people. Sometimes I only have a few people, but it doesn't matter. I always do a program. I welcome all of you here to the Kovac Planetarium. The shows are non-scripted. I explain the size of the stars, planets, Sometimes on clear nights, you may see something that most people can't see anymore because they live in a city, what we know as the Northern Lights. I put about 4,000 customers through here per year. It's a dream come true, and I would have to say now the locals are amazed. Just that little bit of time of a parent spending time with a child showed what that led to here. My homemade planetarium is the coolest thing I've ever made.